Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Who loses his mind, rips Trump for despicable reason, he's so wrong. Senator John McCain can't seem to stop attacking President Donald Trump. He insists on helping Democrats with their anti-Trump agenda. It's pathetic. Check out McCain's latest dig at 45. From the Hill. Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, on Tuesday condemned President Trump's combative attitude toward the press, and called on Congress to protect journalists worldwide. Whether Trump knows it or not, these efforts are being closely watched by foreign leaders who are already using his words as cover as they silence and shutter one of the key pillars of democracy, McCain said in an opinion piece published in the Washington Post. McCain called the Trump administration's treatment of journalists inconsistent at best and hypocritical at worst, particularly when it comes to condemning attacks on the press abroad. More from Raw Story. Yet even more troubling is the growing number of attacks on press freedom in traditionally free and open societies, McCain wrote, where censorship in the name of national security is becoming more common. He cited laws both passed and proposed that have a chilling effect on journalists in Britain, France, and Germany, the murder of a prominent journalist in Malta and a Polish news agency that was fined for publishing photographs of anti-government protests. The president's unrelenting attacks on the integrity of American journalists and news outlets have provided cover for repressive regimes to follow suit, with so-called fake news becoming a jail-worthy offense in 21 cases in 2017 alone. Trump's attempts to undermine the free press also make it more difficult to hold repressive governments accountable, the senator wrote. For decades. Dissidents and human rights advocates have relied on independent investigations into government corruption to further their fight for freedom. But constant cries of fake news undercut this type of reporting and strip activists of one of their most powerful tools of dissent. Please retire, John. John.